Hi guys, do you like watching Charlie Manson but wish he didn't yell as much? <laughs> then you're gonna love, you're gonna love Martha Marcy May Marlene. Hey guys, uh, yeah. yeah, we're uh, second second perspective. Uh, my name's Paul Weston. Over there is Mitchell Allen, and uh, today we're gonna be doing a QQ for uh, Mar Martha Marcy May Marlene. And uh, it's a very interesting film, so why don't we just let uh, Mitch give us some information on it right away? Sure, you got it. Um, Martha Marcy May Marlene is from 2011, mm -hmm. and it's a film written and directed by an independent director named Sean Durkin. So Martha, the main character, is played by Elizabeth Olsen, and she's a young woman who escapes a cult to go live with her much older sister and her husband in their swanky upstate New York beach house. And during her stay at this house, she starts to remember her terrible experiences with a cult, and we see all the trauma that's coming with it. And that's pretty much how you would sum this whole thing up. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Why, why should they go see this film, Dave? Um, I think one of the big strengths of this film is how subtle it is. I mean, I, there isn't much of a quote-unquote like A to B plot structure, mm -hmm. But what you get is a really nuanced like character study and textured study of what it's like to live through a truly horrible experience. It's very atmospheric and very much about like the details and the subtext. Yeah, and they, it's uh, a big strength of the film. Yeah, yeah. they don't two by four you at all with anything. Mm -hmm. um, they they do the whole thing that they assume their audience is smart, which is really cool. Um, speaking of smart, the uh, cinematography is also very uh, smart, intelligent, great. Yeah. Um, and the reason is that uh, all the things that they do, um, in particular, like uh, shot choice, um, and to a lesser extent, um, colors and all that sort of thing, uh, they're all integral to the story. Like if if they're not there, then the story is not as clear and it's not um, as impactful. Like it's it's often been like yeah, something looks really nice or pretty or whatever, but um, so often you hear like professional cinematographers say like I want the right shot for this film um, that it will help tell the story not just make it look pretty mm -hmm. and this film does that to a T um, and when you watch it you will because you should um, you'll definitely see yeah. what we mean um, however there there are certain things that would probably put off a few people why don't you give us one or two Mitch yeah I mean I wouldn't call it a weakness but mm -hmm. like as I was sort of saying before um, some filmgoers will love the fact that it's so subtle and is really playing to what's sort of behind the dialogue and behind the visuals. But if you're not someone who, you know, doesn't, if you're someone who doesn't like when things aren't just thrown in your face and, you know, there's big explosions and stuff, mm. basically, if you like Michael Bay movies, you're going to hate this. Yeah. Well, so like it's, much. This but film... it's, but, but it, I mean, mm. yeah, it'd be a tough watch if you're not willing to sit and pay attention to yeah. stuff. This yeah. film lives and dies by the subtext, right? Yeah. So it's it's a very interesting. It's like the the intrigue comes from a very minute things. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> one thing I should also mention is that this material is like really heavy. It's just oh, it's like, real sad. It's it's real sad. It's heavy. It's, it's um, all sorts of really nasty things go on, and it, it, it's very. I actually want to say it's sort of like emotionally violent, um, mm -hmm. which is really neat experience but I mean it's it's a violent towards you so that's something that you kind of have to be prepared for um but all those things that we talked about it doing and, and perhaps being say maybe a, a obstacle from you maybe watching the film it's the last 10 minutes of the film make it all worth it mm -hmm. um I harp over and over again um if not like you Hugh, Hugh, when I talk to people like Mitch or Nathan or whatever is that the end is always the most important part for me of a film um you should know what your ending is and your film should build to that like that's your ending should be the reason why you're making the film. And uh, this film does it to a T. Um, its final shot is perfect. It encapsulates the entire reason why this film is made. Um, and there's a certain moments in the end 10 minutes. There's one particular line that I'm taking off that's power is super powerful um, that comes out of nowhere. And uh, there's also sort of a red herring of sorts um, that go both me and Mitch um, mm -hmm. that set up just even... Um, sort of more so that what did happen was that much more impactful um so i'm gonna give this film an a minus um yeah. the parts the reason i'm not giving it an a is only because uh it the parts that were not as great as the highs which are fantastic for them those were kind of draggy a little bit um what are you gonna give it for a grade it's i mean yeah i think it's right on par with that it's just an a minus like 
And it's more to do with maybe, you know, I was watching it on a computer screen versus a cinema and it's a sad movie. So maybe it's just all to do with taste and how I viewed it, but it's not my favorite movie, but it is a great, great movie. So it is just right on the edge of that aim, I'd say. Would you recommend them seeing it then? 100%. I think it's uh, it's a striking, like, independent movie. And it's why, like, stuff that falls outside of the studio system needs to be made. Because this is just, it's a, it's a vision from a filmmaker that really wants to say something, which I think yeah. is awesome. I think, yeah, I, I agree yeah. with everything you said. I also think you should go see it, so uh, do so. Uh, and then after that, join us at a discussion, because there is plenty for us to talk about, and we're very excited too. So again, uh, with Second Perspective, my name is Paul Weston, over there is Mitchell Allen, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. See ya.